What's up, humanity? It's Facebook here, coming at you with a pick-a-card reading, because that's what the people want. So we're going to give it to you. We're not going to fight for now. Let's see your piles. These are your piles. Um, I'll list them by the name of the gemstone. That's emerald. Phantom quartz, angel phantom quartz. Lapis lazuli. Golden Healer. It's a stupid name for a rock. Citrine. And Sugalite. So. Emerald, Phantom Quartz, Lapis Lazuli, Golden Healer, Citrine, and Sugalite. Make your selection or pause because we're going to move on. So if you picked Phantom Quartz, or Angel Phantom Quartz, <laughs> your card for love is Soulmates, Partnership, Agreement, Soul Contract. Oh my god, my camera. There we go. <clears throat> That's really clear. Soul Connection, Partnership, Agreement, Soul Contract. And for the Quartz. Acting as a direct connection to the spirit realm. Angel Phantom Quartz provides a profound relationship with your spiritual team. It aids in overcoming trauma, addressing your inner child wounds, healing repressed memories, and alleviating negative emotions that have been haunting you from the past. With this awareness, Angel Phantom Quartz allows you to release yourself from trapped memories and to gain your own personal freedom. Empower yourself and write your own story. Despite whatever has happened to you in the past, you owe that much to yourself. It is associated with the Capricorn Moon. Let's pull some cards to figure out exactly what's going on with you. Clearly you need to release some trauma in order to move forward with your agreement with this, this soulmate you have in your life. Please define the situation for the pile who chose Angel Phantom Quartz. I don't believe in pre-shuffling the tarot cards, so sorry about the wait. First card's going to represent the person asking, the second card will represent the person they're asking about. So you're in a place where you're not very balanced, maybe from this childhood drama. The person you're asking about is refusing to make a change. <clears throat> You feel like you don't have the power to pin this down. <clears throat> and the person you're asking about feels like they can win despite the odds. And they're willing to show their emotions. Is it possible you have a you're divorcing your soulmate. Because there's a second, I mean, another person, another party. Yeah, they ain't acting right, yo. <clears throat> you letting their power go to their head. Not offering anything of value. I think that it would be wise if the situation does apply to you to offer this person not an ultimatum, but an ultimatum. Just let them know that sorry, if you can't see those very well. That you can choose to walk away from your soulmate. You can choose. I mean, there's hundreds of soulmates you're going to meet in every life. A soulmate's just somebody that you have met before and you'll meet again. So, in general, the vibe I get is that if they can't pick between you and somebody else, then it's time for you to pick you. Whether you think you have value or not, sometimes the scars from the past can really weigh heavily on our, our self-esteem and our view of who we are. But you deserve better than to be, you know, strung along. So 
soulmates, yeah, soul connection, partnership, fine. It doesn't mean that you have to stay in that energy. You have a choice to walk away from a soulmate even. And maybe you should. I hope that that helped. Come see us again. All right, if you chose the emerald, your love cards are the phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation. Change mind. And mask. Not showing true feelings, hide personality, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. End of the emerald. Lush and reminiscent of the green of spring, emerald is known as a stone of successful love. Simultaneously loyal partnership and friendship, emerald opens the heart chakra, healing the auric field with unconditional love, hope, and joy, with exuberance and a lust for life. The emerald is a sign for new beginnings and a fresh step in life. Radiating health, prosperity, and vitality, grow in the direction of your dreams, and nurture yourself along the way. You deserve the riches life has to offer you. Sagittarius, Venus, and Mars. We're going to pull some cards to get a idea of the situation you're in more specifically. So somebody's totally not showing their emotions, which is, you know, represented there. And somebody may have, may long, no longer have them. So there's an issue in the material world. Or maybe it's the material world is good. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see how it goes. Injustice. Why can't they ever uh, pull a nice, lovely reading for somebody? Okay, so you tried to do things right here. You tried to build a solid foundation with somebody, but they burned you. They were selfish. They took what was not theirs to take, even if that just means your time. You felt defeated. And it was totally not fair. And it may have been something in the physical realm like money or home, something material that this occurred in. But you're ready to move away from this shit. You're ready to end the cycle. Um, be reborn from the ashes. Let yourself be surrounded by the nurturing energy, you know, the great energy of the emerald, the vitality, the, the lushness. You don't have to live in this place where somebody is either pretending to have emotions they don't have or hiding how they really are. Everyone should just be up front and honest. If we love somebody, just be be straight. There's no point to have all this fake crap. So my suggestion would definitely be to move forward with yourself and new energy and only give to others that are reciprocal. And I know that sounds terrible, but in the reality, you can give and give and give. And if no, one, no one's even receiving it, you're just... You know, give it to yourself instead of to somebody else. If you don't, if you don't want to, if someone is not receiving your love, give it to yourself. Receive it from yourself. Um, I hope that that helped, and good luck. Come back and see us again. Okay, if you picked the Thulite, your love card is the Runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. And here's the Sugalite. Originality, forgiveness, unconditional love. Sugalite helps anybody who's ever felt like they did not belong feel loved and supported. Vibrating violet rays of unconditional love, Sugalite brings lightworkers down to earth, opening them up to share their gifts while staying grounded on planet earth. 
For overthinkers and warriors, Sugalite alleviates the issues of the mind, allowing you to focus on what's truly important, living your truth. Sugalite facilitates forgiveness for those who have hurt you, including yourself. Open your heart to what is possible by letting go of all that no longer serves you. Jupiter, Sagittarius, and Virgo. Let's get a little more insight here. For one card for you, one card for them. Maybe they're running because they're hurt. Or maybe they're running because they don't feel like they fit in. Agent of Vials. Okay. So, this is your side. Um, you may have taken an action without emotion. And it looks like they are pursuing their star, their dream, their hope, their desire. They're like, they're guiding a light. You don't want to wait for them anymore. Okay, so it's not time for this to happen. And there's something that you don't see or something that's hidden or beneath the surface in this. Maybe the um, the feeling left out, the feeling alone. A lot of defeat energy here. Can you clarify what is unknown in the situation, please? I feel like you've made up your mind and that you're done chasing this person. Yeah, you've worked really hard to get to be with them and it just hasn't happened. Oh, yeah, you're done wishing for it. And that's as clear as it can be. <clears throat> so, um, just because I'm pro helping people be better in their life, I guess. Just remember that if they're running, maybe they're hurt. And even if it's not time for this now, maybe it'll never be time for it, but... That's up to you and them. So I hope that this helped and come to us again. All right. If you picked Citrine, this is your reading. You have the Abundance card. Keep a positive mind state. Manifest exactly what you want with gratitude and bliss. Now the Citrine card. Creativity, happiness, and manifestation. Well, that's ironic, isn't it? <clears throat> a powerful and energetic stone, citrine derives its warmth from the rays of the sun and shines positively wherever it is needed. Like vitamin C for the soul, citrine works its magic on both physical and emotional levels, transmuting negativity into light-filled vibes and positivity. A great stone for enhancing one's prosperity as well. Citrine magnifies your creativity to inspire manifestation. Known as the light maker, it encourages fresh beginnings, new ideas, and light, living life to the fullest. Except that abundance is coming your way. I'll be damned. Aries, Gemini, Leo, and Libra. I can't even make it up, y'all. Um, my camera's trash. I don't make that up either. Abundance is in there, right at the bottom. Choo -choo -choo. <coughs> That's pretty damn impressive. Now let us... I feel like maybe you're just manifesting the you know, person you're trying to be with. To clarify the situation for the citrine pile, please. Maybe we'll have one good reading out of the batch. Oh, 
okay, weird. So, the disconnect, you feel a disconnect, and this other person feels like heartbreak, big time heartbreak. Wow. Okay. Like, they feel major heartbreak. And I don't know if somebody apologized and it wasn't accepted. But there's definitely no moving forward in this relationship right now. I think you should question whether or not you really have feelings for this person because it might not be what you thought that it was. You might not feel the same way that you used to feel. And if they wanted to develop this, like, if they're trying to build something with you and put in a lot of work to do that, it won't matter if there's no emotion behind it. You have the ability to manifest whatever you want. So figure out what you want. That's my advice to you. Figure out for sure what you want because this person is way in in their heart. They're way in. And if you don't know where you are, you know, that's not really very fair. Figure out how you feel and then address the situation. And if somebody has apologized, if, you know, if you apologize, hopefully they'll accept it. But if they apologize and you're not willing to accept it or their offer of love, I mean, just figure out how you feel and be straight because that's the only thing you can do. I hope that this was helpful and please come see us again. If you picked Lapis Lazuli, this is your reading. Not enough. Frustration, frustrated in relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear. Ego. Jealousy issues. And paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy. Playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Lapis Lazuli. Real in all of its forms, Lapis Lazuli was most prized and sought after in ancient Egypt, when it was believed to have powers of immortality and the ability to expand the heart's capacity for love. Lapis Lazuli guides the soul and protects its journey from life to death. True wisdom comes from within, and Lapis Lazuli facilitates that by unearthing your core truth. The stone appears when you're ready for spiritual transformations and takes you to the depth of who you are, unveiling deep, deeper awareness so that you can become the leader of your own life. Sagittarius and Venus. Hmm. Let's see what we get. Card first for you, card second for them. So you want a partnership, but they're not balanced. That explains why we have the two contract contrasting cards in the beginning. They're unbalanced. Why are they unbalanced? Because they're worried about their money. You're just trying to be honest about how you feel. You want a victory with them. They may not have genuine feelings for you. And that's a heavy burden that you've been carrying. And that they've been probably carrying as well. But if you can accept this loss and not lose sight of the total package of life, you can move into safer waters. And maybe find somebody who's really passionate about you. Don't build up a wall. But be prepared to cut things out of your life that aren't meant for you. Yep, take an action based on emotion.
if that action is walking away from this person, then so be it. You have paradise wait waiting for you. Um, if they're unbalanced and they can't show genuine emotion for you, there's something out there waiting for you that's so much better. Thanks for coming today, and I hope that that helps. Come and see us again, please. If you chose the Golden Hila, this is your reading. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting, wanting to date. The Golden Hila. Universal life force flows strongly within the Golden Healer. With an exceedingly high vibration, Golden Healer carries biascular waves, an abundant form of power that can increase in spatial mass. The potent energy can expand awareness across multiple dimensions. Dope! I take it back whatever I said about it earlier. Transforming your vibration all the way down to the cells in your body. Connected to the solar plexus, the stone allows the highest form of healing for your identity and self-worth, releasing ancestral trauma that may have affected you and been passed down through your family lineage. Sun and Leo. So, maybe you realizing people are, you're very likable and people can like you will help you feel better about yourself. But let's go ahead and pull some cards. Ooh, you're celebrating something. And they're taking a little break. Don't get discouraged if things are moving slow because that might be the best way for things to build a strong foundation. Um, if you don't feel like you're connecting enough on a physical level, maybe take a look at it on the spiritual level. I mean, how how are you relating to this person? Okay, so you're trying to move forward with this hermit, and you're feeling very left out. But what's happening is a safer transform. You're moving into a safer place, and it's a new feeling for you to have the security or the the good working relationship, the normal good working relationship. So you feel like you have a defeat on your hands. And that there's no passion. And you're ready to cut it right out of your life. But that's not true. They're trying to build abundance. Slowest moving night in the deck. Don't let your cup pour out. Unless you really don't have feelings for them. One more. No, this could be a great situation. This could be a great relationship. Give this person time. They might have the childhood wounds that you know, they need to start feeling better about themselves, but they really like you, and that's a good sign. Maybe help reassure them that you know you like them back, or just be respectful of the fact that they're not ready, and I think that'll be very beneficial for you. Um, thanks for joining me today, and I hope that this helps. Come see us again. Peace the fuck out, people. <laughs>